Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. Elliot back again with my weekly recap, breakdown, and review of the latest episode of Apple TV Plus, Lisey's Story. We're talking episode 6, which was titled, Now You Must Be Still. And speaking of still, this show has just been moving at such a pace, it's like watching paint dry. <laughs> We're going to break it all down this spoiler discussion, but before we do so, make sure you all are following me on all my other social media accounts. If you're new to the channel, well, welcome to the community. Consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. That way you can get the alert for when I drop new content. If you all enjoyed this breakdown of Lisey's story, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, share the video. It helps out the channel a lot, but I also appreciate the support. And if you're like me, if you've stuck around and you're on the sixth episode of Lisey's Story, uh, what did you think about this episode? Is it your favorite episode of the season so far? Is it uh, is the show just getting worse and worse and worse as the episodes go on? Or is it just me? Let's discuss this episode. And of course, what are your thoughts, your predictions, and your theories for episode seven and what you hope to see in the finale with episode eight? So... Listen, if you guys have been following me on this journey with this show, this show has progressively gotten worse. It is. It started off intriguing, you know, Booyah Moon, Scott Landon, what happened to him, Amanda, how are we going to save her, Lisey and Jim and Dola, all that stuff was interesting within the first two episodes. We go to episode three, flashbacks. We go to episode four, more flashbacks. Episode five, more flashbacks. We just seem to be stuck in the same place as this episode is titled, Now You Must Be Still. The synopsis reads, with Darla's help, Lisey sets out to rescue Amanda so the three sisters can unite to take on Jim. So... Oh man, this was a rough episode. I, I, the dialogue was really bad. This was one of the worst ones in regards to the acting's never been the thing about me with this show, but the acting in this episode with the three sisters coming on screen together for the first time since what episode one really, this is really the most screen time they've gotten together. I don't know the the, the chemistry between uh, Julianne Moore and you know the, her other two sisters and the actresses um, just isn't working for me. There was some really bad dialogue in this show in this episode in particular, I should say, and. Let's just get right into it. The episode opens up with Jim, uh, like in episode five, he's in the bed, still reading Scott's unpublished uh, stories, um, and he's really just in the background this entire episode. And that's the thing about this show. Everyone just seems to be background players, really don't know who they are, really don't know what they're, what we're getting at with these characters, and I don't know what to expect with Jim, especially after the three witch sisters decide to do something to him a little bit later that we'll get into in a second. But cut to Booyah Moon where we see EC finally has gone to Booyah Moon. At this point, Officer Beckman has left her house. He drives to the sister's house. He sees, he doesn't notice that Jim is there, but Lisey's in Booyah Moon. She, again, she finally makes it and it's time for her to finally save her sister after six episodes. Uh, we see Lisey comes across uh, uh, Paul's grave. She takes a couple, she takes the needle that has the tranquilizer to take out Paul, but she keeps that. I assume she's going to use that. She took it from Booyah Moon. She's going to probably use that to take out Jim and probably next week's episode but we move to seeing Lisey come to the bull she drinks the water she heals herself uh, as Amanda and Scott watches her do that we see Lisey approaches Amanda and she writes on the little notepad because she obviously doesn't wait, want to make noise to, for the loud or the long boy to hear her but she says do you still want to come home concentrate on going to Scott's study and this is how she's able to communicate with her sister so I thought it was going to be more cinematic than that in regards to bringing her sister back but we'll get to that scene in a second here but cut to the next morning and I just assumed that Darla was told by Lisey that Jim was at her house that Jim was at Amanda's house because this was an off-screen discussion because they'd never mentioned in the show especially after the threat that Jim gave Lisey two weeks ago if you tell anyone I'm going to kill your sisters but I guess she decided to do so anyway because they plan on killing him so it's just a circle of killing uh but nonetheless you know she has all this stuff that she wants to give Lisey to, to protect herself um but we see Lisey disappears right in front of Darla. She goes to Booyah Moon. She gets a flower to show her that Booyah Moon exists. And, you know, she ultimately asks for her sister's help to not only save their older sister, but also to protect themselves versus Jim. So Lisey makes a call to Dash Mail. She threatens to sue him for a half a million dollars or she gives him an ultimatum. You, I'll sue you or you call Jim and tell him to come to the study and, and meet me here so they can ultimately take him out, uh, which we see her recording a message to Jim. And again, she just wants to lure Jim in so she can, again, I think she's going to use that needle and ultimately take him out and maybe... 
I don't even know, again, does Jim know about Booyah Moon? Is she going to take him to Booyah Moon? Is that where she's going to hide the body, as they talked about later in the episode, where she's going to put the body? Is she going to take Jim to Booyah Moon so they can never find him? I guess we'll know next week, or maybe not, because this show just seems to move at a snail pace. But now we have Darla on board. They go to get their sister. We see at this point Amanda mentions that, you know, how she was able to be brought back by Scott, and we essentially see Lisi do the same thing. She transfers the water from the bull into her sister, and boom, she is finally back. The sisters are united, and this, and, and, and this is when the episode, it was already kind of moving slow, and I really wasn't all that interested, but this is where I really got disconnected. The acting, these are three great actors. This is, a, this is Stephen King's, you know, um, him writing the script. The dialogue in this scene, I didn't feel the chemistry. I didn't feel like this happiness of the sisters. There's a moment where the, the music is all kind of cheesy and corny. And, the, and and again, the exchange between the three dialogue-wise is so bad. And at least he's like, someone's going to kill me. It was just, I don't know, it was just a really, this is one of many bad scenes. Uh, we get a, a pointless flashback between Lisi and Scott dancing and about the dog that went missing for three years. Again, this is me thinking that, and I think the dog was in Booyah Moon, but this is me thinking that this is where Lisi gets the idea, okay, I'm going to take Jim and take him to Booyah Moon and bury him there so no one can ever find his body. That's at least what I'm thinking. We get them going to the office, flirting with the doctor, distracting him to get Amanda out of the facility. And, and again, the three sisters together just didn't work. We cut to the awkward scene, again, them trying to convince the doctor to let Amanda go. And the dialogue amongst the sisters as they go to this area to see the rain come down as Amanda's acting like a little kid. Like, take me, I want to see it before it rains. They all decide to be on the same page and say, yeah, let's kill Jim. They're screaming, we're going to kill Jim. They're acting like they're the three sisters and three witches from Hocus Pocus, and they're like, they're going to kill Jim. So this is the goal now. They're killers. They're all, they're just going to kill. I mean, don't get me wrong. Jim's a terrible person. He deserves, you know, bad things to happen to him. But it's just like these three domesticated people are now just killers all of a sudden. They're plotting to kill this guy. It, it Completely going over my head at this point. This episode is really bad. Lisi tells the officer Beckman to leave. Jim's watching them, you know, from afar uh, as they're planning to kill Jim. And they're laughing, talking. Lisi's talking about, or Darla's like, oh, I see you, Lisi, flirting with the officer. They're laughing. And mind you, they, they just got done talking about killing somebody. And they're laughing about flirting with the police officer. Again, the dialogue, the script, the pacing, the story of this, this episode and the show as a whole has, has been going nowhere. As the episode ends with Lisi looking in the mirror and she's a double, she's an anchor, and she says, you know, I have to bring him here. He'll, he'll come, alluding to Jim. So that's about it. That's the recap of the episode, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I thought this was, this show has progressively gotten worse. The dialogue has gotten worse. The pacing of the show has been slow since they, since episode one, but I was okay. Like I said, if you guys watch my episode one, I'm okay with the slow story, a buildup, but it's, what is it building to? We now have Amanda, and I guess the next two episodes, we're going to kill Jim and bury him in Booyah Moon. What about Scott? How did he die? Who created Booyah Moon? Who knows of Booyah Moon? <sighs> this is a tough show, guys, but I'm sticking it out. We only got two episodes left, episodes seven and eight, and uh, man, I, if this show can do a 180, I would be happy, but if not, I wouldn't be surprised because episodes three, four, five, and now six have been trash in my opinion but it's just my opinion and i want to know what you all thought of this episode of booyah me or booyah moon of lisi's story and booyah moon and all the things that come with the show are you liking it are you not liking it i've been reading you all's comments and trying to respond as often as i can and it seems like a lot of you all are kind of on the same page with me but uh Let's hope things get better. But as always, if you stuck around in this video, make sure if you haven't already, like the video, share the video, leave your thoughts in the comments, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell. That way you don't miss any of my other content. Hope you all enjoyed this review. Hope you're staying safe, and uh, we'll see you next week talking episode seven of Lisey's Story. Take care, everybody.